What's up, y'all? All right, so um, I'm so, 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 so excited to, uh, to share this video with you guys. Um, as you guys know, I am a child of the 80s, and 80s toys and 90s toys are something that I really, really, really love and hold very dear to my heart. And so today I'm gonna be sharing with you um, a doll line that didn't last long at all, but I remembered these and as soon as as soon as I started like I was just getting frantic and looking for them I was like I've got to have them I've got to have them I've got to have them and I found them I found them on eBay um, there's a few more that I have to get I think there were five um, of these dolls but these are the hot looks dolls they were uh, brought to us by Mattel in 1986 and they lasted until 1987 um, they were uh, these 19 inch little fashion dolls that are, I'll have to set this down, it's not gonna stand up, but they were these 19 inch fashion dolls that had this very unique plush body, but they could bend. They had like the bendy arms and you could just pose them in all kinds of ways and they were very, very cool. And the, the premise of this doll line was to teach children about fashion. And in the 80s, fashion was awesome. Like it was just all over the place, wild and crazy colors, animal prints, neons, just very, very strange and very unique, um, very unique styles. And uh, the uh, there's like a little pamphlet, which I'll show you in a moment, but there was a little pamphlet that you could get um, that would teach you about like different colors and different color schemes that work together and different prints that work together. But it was really, really unique and really cool. And uh, these, <coughs> these uh, girls were fashion models and they came from all over the world to teach people about fashion. And I just fell in love with them so much. Um, and here I have Stacy and Chelsea and Zizi. And uh, so it's, yeah, Stacy, Chelsea, and Zizi, and there is Mimi and Elkie are the other two that I need to get. Um, but they're so awesome. I mean, for real, like, check out this packaging. Like, it's huge. It's huge, and it had like a little handle on the top. Like, I almost don't want to take these out of the packaging just because this just has 90s or 80s written all over it. But it's really cool. But I am going to take it out of the packaging because I do love it. Now, there were also fashion packs. This fashion pack is huge. And um, I believe Stacy and ZZ were, uh, like they, they all had like little fashion packs that kind of worked well with their skin tones and with the types of colors that they could wear based on their hair color and eye color. and. Uh, this was uh, an outfit designed for Stacy. This is the sweatshirt set, and it's just got cheesy 80s written all over it. It has like these numbers all over the shirt. It looks like something from the Magic School Bus, I swear. And you can see here on the back just how awesome that was. And uh, on the backs of this packaging, they show you the different outfits that'll work for her as well. I've got to get all of these. I've got to get all these. I've got to get all the fashion packs. I've got to get everything. So that's ZZ and there's Chelsea, but she looks really cool as well. So I'm going to take these out of the packaging and I'm just going to ramble on a little more about hot looks. <laughs> okay, um, so... <laughs> I have removed them from the packaging and a few little unfortunate things occurred. Um, because these dolls are so old, they are 30 years old. I can't believe that. Um, Chelsea, whose outfit I was so excited about, some of the material is very, um, it's just dated and it's starting to wear. And so I rubbed my thumb across this and it just started to peel off. And the shoes are just really sticky because they have they're that really weird material. Um, but, you know, I can't be upset but because the dolls are so old. Um, but I love them regardless. I love the premise. I just think they look really, really cool. So we'll let you look at her face. 
And I love the strawberry blonde and I love the, the crimping in the hair, just like the 80s. And they had these little knobs in their ears that are not removable, but you could just pop the little earrings off. They had the little hooks that you could just put on them. And because of Chelsea's vest, her earring keeps popping off. It's driving me bananas. I would, I would, if there was any line of dolls, just like obscure line of dolls that weren't that popular, that I would love to see make a comeback, it would be these dolls. I think they're so cool. And really fun and you can mix and match their fashions. I'm removing that skirt. She has leggings on underneath so it's really not going to be a big deal but it just feels so weird. Um, but yeah I love that you could just bend them and pose them and and <clears throat> all that good stuff. And here is ZZ. I think she might be my favorite one because her hair is so thick. The quality is really 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 good and I believe one of the dolls had a tag on the package and it was some KB toys so if you remember KB toys please comment below because I remember KB toys and I miss KB toys it was like a it was kind of like Toys R Us but I don't know it was, it was like Toys R Us but it was different I don't know anyway uh, and they were $24.99 which in my opinion, was a little bit of a hefty price, especially in the 80s for, uh, for, for dolls like this. Um, but I think it would have been well worth the price because these are so much fun. Um, and they have like sewn on undergarments. Um, and I think that's really cool as well. They kind of look like little shiny bathing suits to a degree. Um, but yeah, like you could just, you could pose them, you could do all kinds of fun stuff with them. I don't think they came with any play sets or anything, um, but something that was really cool, and I didn't even know this, but the, there's a little stand inside the box that you can make. <laughs> and so I've got Stacy leaned up against it. It's so cheesy, but so cute all at the same time. I'm definitely keeping she didn't have she was already out of her box when I got her so she didn't come with anything but oh my gosh I'm definitely keeping these cheesy stands look at this, it's made out of cardboard how fun is that oh my gosh guys this is definitely a throwback and I can't wait to do more also what I would like to know from you guys is you know, I want to hear from my 80s and 90s kids and people who collect the, the older dolls. Let me know some doll lines that you're interested in and share them with me because I'm open to, uh, to purchasing more vintage dolls and vintage toys because I love that stuff and I love being reminded of dolls that, that were and that have been forgotten and I love reminding people of them as well. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I want you guys to stay awesome. Know that I love you. Go out and do something good for the world, guys. It definitely needs it. I'll see you guys around. Adios, amigos. Bye.